she would start bawling right then and then, bro. I would have been like, I would have cried, I would have laughed, I would have been like, nah, not this, not my man thinking I'm ugly, guys. <laughs> what? What's up, everybody? This is Marzi, and I'm here on the new type of form of video. As y'all can read by the title, you're probably like, hold up. What's going on? The lighting was throwing me off. And if you hear a little bit of noise in the background, it's all right. I just got my knees here. More than likely, these videos will be a little bit more professional. But as of right now, today, because I'm trying to get something out for right now, basically, I'm going to be here reading some Reddit stories. And I'm going to be giving advice based on the stuff that I see on Reddit. And then eventually, once I start to build you know, your fan base, then you guys can actually end up leaving comments. And I'll read some of your stories and be able to basically give some advice. But let's jump right into this first story now this first story is a good one like i said y'all can already tell by the title though so let me go and pull that up real quick on my second phone here so i'm gonna read it all to you it's called my boyfriend 36 year old male admitted he thinks my sister 27 year old female is prettier than me 29 year old female how do i overcome his comment oh my goodness for one that is just sounds insane i would be livid but let's go read the first half it says, I've gone my whole life battling my jealousy of my sister. <sighs> That's a tough one right there. That number one, can't envy your sibling, bro. I love her and only want her to be happy. But being the less attractive sister has stirred up so many insecurities in myself since we were young. Damn, that sucks. I actually kind of feel bad now. I kind of feel real bad because I, I couldn't imagine like, being in that type of comparison you know what i'm saying like to where you were insecure about yourself because you're too busy focusing on a sister that you find more attractive than you uh, and then from the title your boyfriend even says it man i would be considered cute and i don't mean my sister is just considered wait what and i don't mean my sister is just a little bit prettier than me i mean she is a head turner could blend in perfectly in a victoria's secret fashion show kind of stunning has the height body and face she gets alive she gets to live an extremely thrilling life because of what beautiful brain. Uh, what the hell? Dates powerful and famous men. Gets spoiled with different vehicles and luxuries. I mean, it's just night and day. Difference how the stunning people of the world live compared to the rest of us. I have a normal life working 9 to 5. Growing up, being compared to that and overlooked in every aspect next there has damaged my self-esteem beyond repair. Damn. Now I love my boyfriend and he loves me, but he made a detrimental... I, I know how to pronounce that word. Comment that I'm struggling to move past. We were out with a bunch of his friends I was meeting for the first time and everyone had been drinking. I was asked about my siblings and at some point my boyfriend loudly proclaimed, if you guys think my name is pretty, you should see your sister. Hell nah, bro, what? And then began showing everyone at the table photos of her Instagram and of course everyone was in awe. I felt so small and now knew my own boyfriend also found her more attractive than me. I brought it up afterward and he of course backpedaled and stated he didn't mean it in that way. But it's been two months. Two months, girl? You haven't even... Nah, bro. And the comment won't leave my mind. I can't escape the constant comparisons there and I don't think I ever will. It's exhausting. How do I overcome these insecurities? <sighs> That's deep. That's deep. That's something that needed to be healed a long time ago, bro. But okay so number one let's start with number one here we're gonna start with the envy part and then we're gonna get to the boyfriend if the boyfriend part is a whole completely different that's a whole separate thing all right her question was about her how to deal with her insecurities but whatever that boyfriend just did bro that dude was wild then dude was wild and i can't even imagine that oh that must have been so embarrassing bro imagine that shit i would have been sitting at the table like I thought she didn't start bawling right then and then, bro. I would have been like, I would have cried. I would have laughed. I would have been like, nah, not this. Not my man thinking I'm ugly, guys. What? Into the first, the insecurity part. I'm going to start with the envy part. At the, you know, when she started noticing these type of things, I feel like she definitely should have at least seeked some sort of help, whether that was like therapy or trying to self-heal, because those shouldn't have been things that were written off. You know, you shouldn't be jealous of somebody for one and it damn sure shouldn't be a sibling. You know what I'm saying? And to the point where you literally are forming insecurities about yourself. And like I said, I get it because at the end of the day, if she's a head turner and you're not, you're gonna start to feel some type of way when they are living a completely different lifestyle than you just because she's a head turner. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I feel like that should have been something that was healed like a while back. But as of right now, the best thing I feel like should be done is that you seek 
that she would probably have to seek like professional help to heal the fact that she envies her own sister and um you know or self-heal basically anything that can help you heal that part of why and when it exactly first started because at the end of the day um you shouldn't be envying your sister right it shouldn't have been something that's happened since you were a child and it shouldn't be something that's still happening to this day right but let's get right to the boyfriend because what that dude just did was on some wild stuff so ultimately her advice what she wanted was how did she fix those insecurities now you know how to fix them go back to when it first started which was around the time you started noticing your sister was being a little more prettier than you then you started to form these insecurities about yourself that ultimately are surround around the fact that your sister you know is be basically perfect in your mind but the thing is, is that you gotta unless you don't know who your sister is you gotta understand that regardless of that lifestyle that she's living regardless of the fact that she's getting treated the way she's being treated and stuff like that at the end of the day she has her flaws too even though she's a head turner quote unquote she has her flaws as well and she also probably goes uh, obviously goes through things in life as well she has her traumas as well it's as if she described it to be a perfect person and that's where she got the like where her mindset is wrong because she assumes oh because she's a head turner she's like this she's like that she got this she got that she's just all around happy well she's busy working a nine to five and she's not a head turner and she's looking at all the negative as if her life is completely negative compared to her sister's life when her sister obviously has a negative life too because at the end of the day trauma can affect anybody but i found this comment that perfectly describes like the boyfriend's actions that i was personally thinking it says now you know that even if he didn't mean it like that, as in basically meaning that he was attracted to her, right? He certainly meant it enough to publicly show off your sister to impress his friends. Like I said, that is kind of crazy to sit there and be like, like, first of all, the comment was wild. And I know she was trying to throw it off to him being drunk, but regardless, that was definitely something he was thinking of and he was trying to like they said impress his friends and by impressing his friends instead of saying oh my girlfriend's hot like ain't she he decided to bring up oh you think she's hot her sister's hot like that's like that's wild you know what i'm saying like you that you shouldn't even feel comfortable enough to make such a comment the fact that he didn't even try to use you to impress his friends and use your sister that's like a major red flag because what if you know because that starts to make me think what if he constantly be thinking about your sister type stuff you know what i'm saying like he probably felt like he was out of her league so he just happened to get with you but he's just always thinking about your sister what if the plan is to be with you so he can eventually try to holler at your sister it's like if he has that type of mindset to where he could even see that in that way that she is more attractive to than than you basically that's crazy and then you probably of course you've been dating him for a minute so you probably knew like you probably already felt that insecurity you probably expressed it to him and then he basically threw it in your face as if you it didn't you that wasn't an insecurity to you you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i 100 percent think it was definitely like that i think he's tripping but then let's get to the second paragraph it says imagine what the future will be like with this guy hey everybody come check out this gorgeous woman i know not my wife but her sister that's basically what it is bro like he's just gonna be constantly like every single time when people try to say something like well i don't even know how we got to the point where he said the sister was cute like i don't even know how that got brought up but ultimately at the end of the day that that is just all around a crazy statement to make then it says he actually pulled out his phone and that's where it even gets worse i don't care if you're drunk you went on your phone knew her instagram type shit so now in my head i'm thinking like like do you do this on your own time you know what i'm saying like like i said like that's where it's starting to get a little weird to me he actually pulled out his phone to show off another woman at a meeting where he was introducing his girlfriend oh yeah and i forgot on top of that it was an introduction for his girlfriend okay maybe they haven't been dating that long then because if they're just meeting her they probably haven't been dating that long but you're introducing your girlfriend and someone probably must have said something about like oh you think like they must have been like oh like she's cute or whatever and which one i wouldn't let my friend slide and go say that but someone must have said that and then that's probably when he was like oh you think she's cute see her sister and it's like nah bro that's wild and like in my head i'll always think that you're sitting there thinking about my sister like that's just crazy to me and then it says this one isn't the one op i can assure you the red one around the corner will be mortified when you tell him the story that's what i'm saying like that i she gotta leave him at the end of the day she has to leave him because like i said his head is not in the right head space even if he has love for her and he didn't mean it in that way i guarantee you you do that to anybody else while y'all are in a relationship they will lose their mind bro because you don't do that like 
especially when it's a sibling that is the same gender because more than likely it is a high percentage which sucks they are jealous of each other especially of the same gender if it's like two boys are going to be jealous of his two girls are going to be jealous and especially with females because they you know females naturally have insecurity so especially if you could tell that one of them is prettier than the other one you shouldn't even that shouldn't even be made a comment even if it's something you think about it shouldn't even be made into necessarily a comment like why would you sit there and tell somebody oh i think your sister's prettier than, than, than you you know what i'm saying and especially knowing that's her insecurity bro like even if you didn't know you had to have known because it's like any female standing next to their sister who is pretty more than likely feels insecure about it so it's like i just can't believe he made that comment and i can't believe she stayed for another two months thinking that she was just gonna pop out her head bro no she gotta leave him and i don't know if there was an update but i didn't really see i hope she left him but she doesn't seem like the type to leave him because the fact that she stayed another two months after that comment was made I'm pretty sure she's probably gonna stay with him, but that was wild, bro. So this is definitely gonna become a new series on my channel where I'm just gonna sit here, read Reddit stories and give some advice because honestly, I don't know why it didn't click for me, but I just seen this dude that was doing it from his YouTube comments, but that was because he was more popular and stuff like that. So I'm like, why don't I go to Reddit and just read Reddit stories and give advice? They literally have an advice section. They have a relationship advice, literally everything that you could find on there am i the asshole type stuff you could just read all of those and then i can give some of my some of my input basically and you know you guys can comment down below the type of input you guys want to put i just don't necessarily know if i should put in the title that this is from reddit or if i should just put the title the way it is and then post put like you, you guys are gonna see it regardless but um yeah so that was a wild story and i have a couple wild more stories coming um and then also this is going to be really short too because i just want to see necessarily how it performs if it does better than any of the other videos but i'm going to be putting multiple stories into one especially short stories i already have like a video idea type in mind with like a good three short stories but these ones that are pretty long they're going to get their own video of course but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys continue to follow along on this series and this is going to be a new series a new playlist i'm just going to be calling it um reddit advice or advice reddit whatever whatever the url thing is basically but right, y'all i'm gonna end this video right here hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe and peace